The TRX Suspension Trainer is a total body training system. Today I'm going to show you three upper body moves that you can use using this unique and very beneficial piece of equipment. It's called Fitness Anywhere for a reason. We can do these exercises anywhere we want. We're here on the roof deck of Equinox West LA. I've got a nice sturdy attachment point and we're going to get started with the first move. So for this move, you want to make sure that your feet are just a little bit back behind the TRX and you've got your hands directly in front of your shoulders. You don't want to start very low because your body weight is your resistance. So the lower you're going to go, the heavier it's going to be. Start off light and then work your way into it. I like to pivot off the balls of my feet. I drop down just as if I was doing a push up. I'm going to let that TRX gently glide above my shoulder right next to my bicep. And I'm going down, getting a big stretch through the chest and then out. So you're getting your chest, your shoulders, you want to grip onto that TRX tight and then extend. You want to keep your abs tight. If that felt too easy, take a step back and you can drop down, stabilize with those shoulders and press out. If that was too hard, you could come up higher, decrease your body weight resistance and go through that movement all the way. You're gonna get yourself at an angle to your attachment point. Remember, the lower you go, the harder it's gonna be, and the more upright you are, the easier. Start at a medium level. You're arching back. You want your hands up level with your shoulders. You wanna keep your elbows high. Curl those hands in to meet the ears, and then extend it out. You wanna repeat that. I like to pivot off my heels sometimes. It keeps my body really straight so my abs are tight, and I don't lead with my hips. Your hips stay even with the rest of your body. Keep your elbows high, that's really important, so you can really narrow in on those biceps and those shoulders are working to stabilize you. Squeeze at the top, slowly lower it out. This is a great balance for the chest press because now we're gonna work the back and shoulders. So what you wanna do again is get at an angle to your attachment point, whatever feels like a good resistance, you're lifting your body weight, so remember this is for all fitness levels, you just go where you're comfortable. You're gonna keep your knuckles up for this one and you're gonna bring those elbows out wide, pinch those shoulder blades together, slowly lower it back out. Now I'm gonna have you repeat that a few times and then we're gonna change our grip so that we're working different parts of the rotator cuff and back. Next, we're gonna go with our knuckles pointing in, bringing those elbows out wide, working different muscle groups of the back and shoulders. Awesome variety here for that back. Then we're gonna go knuckles out. So bringing those elbows wide, knuckles out. You can really feel your shoulders and your middle back working. Try to get about five to 10 of each of those positions. I hope you guys learned some awesome new exercises using the TRX today. We'll see you next time on Fit Sugar TV.